Now what exactly happens in the case of Bredigax method? Well, this process involves dispersion as well as condensation. With this process, we prepare salts of metals like gold, platinum. So what exactly happens in this method? Well, we have two electrodes of the metal immersed in the dispersion medium. And now these electrodes, when you know, uh, electric arc is struck, we find that these electrodes vaporize, that is the metals of this electrode vaporizes and because there is the presence of an ice bath, they start condensing and these form colloidal particles. In this way, we prepare colloids using Bredig arcs method, right? Now coming to the third method of preparation, that is peptization. In peptization, what exactly happens? Well, we find that when a freshly prepared precipitate is immersed in a dispersion medium and shaken in the presence of a small electrolyte, then we find they turn into colloidal salts, right? Remember these keywords, freshly prepared precipitate, immersed in dispersion medium, and when shaken in the presence of a small electrolyte, this is more important, small electrolyte, then we find the colloidal soil being formed. So the electrolyte that is present for the purpose of forming a colloidal soil is called as peptizing agent. Remember this keyword, peptizing agent. Now, you might be wondering what exactly is happening over here. Well, we find that when this freshly prepared precipitate is available uh, and it's introduced into the medium and shaken, we find that it attracts the ions of this electrolyte. It might be positively charged or negatively charged, the electrolyte. It attracts these ions and it gains a charge and uh, immediately disintegrates into smaller molecules of colloidal size. In this way, we find that colloids are formed. 